the soccer ball in this problem is kicked sideways at 20 meters per second and up at 12 meters per second. So it takes a path that looks something like this through the air, finally returning to the same height that it started from on the ground. Part A asks us how much time is required for the ball to reach its highest point. That's this point up here. At that point, the vertical velocity component is zero. The ball's changing from moving up to moving down. We can find that time using the first kinematic equation. The final y component of velocity equals the initial minus g times t. And we'll call the time t sub h when it gets to the highest point. The y component of velocity there is zero, so we can solve for t sub h and substitute the values. v naught y is 12 meters per second. When you calculate, you find the ball spends 1.22 seconds rising to its highest point. Part b asks us to find how high that point is. We'll find that using the time-independent kinematic equation for the vertical direction. That's shown here, where the displacement, delta y, is the change in height from the ground level where the ball started to the highest point. The final y component of velocity is zero at the highest point, so we can solve for delta y. It equals v naught y squared divided by 2g. Substitute the numbers to find that the ball's maximum height is 7.35 meters. Part C asks us after how much time the ball returns to its original level, that is, back to the ground. We'll call that time t sub g, time to reach the ground, and find it using this kinematic equation. Delta y is v naught y t minus one half g t squared. When the time t equals the time to reach the ground, delta y, the change in height, equals zero. There's no change in height from when the ball was kicked on the ground to when it returns to the ground. Knowing that time is not equal to zero, we can cancel one of the times from this equation and rewrite to get this, and then solve for t sub g. It equals two times v naught y divided by g, and you notice that this is twice the time it took the ball to get to its highest point. The time to get back to its original level is twice the time to get to the highest point, and that works out to 2.45 seconds. Part D asks how far the ball travels horizontally during this time. We'll find that using the horizontal displacement equation. Delta x is v naught x times t. The initial x component of velocity is 20 meters per second. That's constant and the ball spends 2.45 seconds moving sideways, so it travels 49 meters, the distance shown here. 